Meal plans, you don't need them. Frequently we get potential members to inquire about joining Fit Club and they always ask for a very specific type of meal plan, either vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free, lactose-free, etc., etc. It's all the same. The only meal plan that works is the one that you stick to. So today's video, I'm gonna tell you why you don't need a meal plan and how you can actually lose weight without ever feeling like you're on a diet. Number one, meal plans are way too strict. Let me ask you this. If I wrote you a meal plan and the meal plan incorporated 100 grams of egg whites, one egg, two pieces of rye bread with a little bit of butter and coconut oil, would you be able to follow that to the T if I tacked on six ounces of chicken breast with two cups of spinach, two protein shakes, a Neri's bar, and then steak and potato for dinner? Now, you might be able to follow that for an extended period of time. And honestly, when people give out meal plans, from what I've historically seen, is that you get one meal plan, which is one day, and the expectation is that you eat that same thing every single day. Now, will that work? Yes, it's going to work because it's under your calories and the macros are probably good on it. But is it sustainable? Heck no. And that's why you need to have flexibility in your diet plan. So that's why we do everything based on macros and calories. So what we do in the belly burn is that we set you up with a certain amount of calories. Once we figure out what those calories are that's gonna help you lose weight and make it sustainable, then we're going to help you to slot the right foods in the right place. So what I would do with you is I would give you, let's say 1500 calories, 40% protein, 30% carbs, and 30% fats. And then I would tell you to start with just plugging in the foods that you absolutely love. Okay, so now obviously if you're putting donuts and double doubles and all this and that, we've got to work around that. So if you have the caloric budget to fit those in and still hit your protein goals, then we're good to go. So let's say you actually had a donut and you had a double double. So that's going to bring you about 600 calories. Now that gives us about 1100 calories left where it's got to be straight protein. So then we would plug in proteins that you like. So for me, I like to drink my calories. I know Neri likes to eat her calories, but I would plug in two protein shakes and I would have them back to back. So right away, there's barely any carbs in there. There's barely any fats and it's going to balance out all those carbs and fats from the double double and the donut. And so as you can see, this is way more adaptable to the way that you live. Now, let's say that you are uh, a very ethnic eater and you have to incorporate things that are your family makes and that's part of your ethnicity. Now, if I wrote you a plan and in this plan it was all like chicken breast and broccoli and your family never eats chicken breast and broccoli, there's no way that that's gonna work long term. So, we would get you to start weighing out your food. If the food that you're eating has like 10 different ingredients, then you have to be on top of it and knowing exactly how much of each ingredients are in there. But once you get it in there, family recipes, they don't change. So when Neri makes a Spartan stew, what I'll do is I'll ask her, okay, how much uh, like ground turkey do you use for the entire thing? And she would tell me. She would tell me how much vegetables, she would tell me how much broth, et cetera, et cetera. Anything that has calories, they get entered into my fitness pal under recipes. And if you're looking about how to do that, go to the channel and look up how to enter a custom recipe using MyFitnessPal. We made a video. There's probably other videos out there that you can use. So what you would do is you'd punch it in once, you would save it, and then when you go and have, let's say, a cup of Spartan stew, all you have to do is Spartan stew, one cup, boom, it's already in there. So as you can see, that's a way more flexible and adaptable way of eating so that you never really feel like you're getting on a diet. Me personally, I gotta have ice cream every single day or at least something sweet. So what I would do is I would build up my plan and I'd make sure that there's flexibility in my calories and I've hit my protein goals so that I can actually have that ice cream. So there we have it guys, meal plans. Honestly, you don't need them. Don't ask me for them. What we need to do is get you into the belly burn program so that we can build you out a custom plan based on what macros are suited for you and what calories are suited for you. So if you're looking to get onto the next belly burn and you wanna learn how to properly do nutrition without it being too strict, boring, and no flexibility, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, and send us a message, mention the belly burn. 
in the next video, I'm going to teach you what meal plan actually works. So we'll see you there.